Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm actually making a video I wanted to make for a while. It's for all iPhone 3GS owners who may have bricked their device while updating to iOS 5 with the 6.15.00 baseband. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your iPhone, get it running on iOS 5 with the 6.15.00 baseband, and unlock using Ultra Snow. Now, this video will also work for any iPhone 3GS owner who simply wants to update to iOS 5 and preserve your baseband in the process maybe you have an older unlock you want to keep and it will work just as fine as if you were bricked so don't worry about that now once you guys are up and running on iOS 5 this is a tethered jailbreak for new boot ROM 3GS's and if you have an old boot ROM 3GS like I do and this one is bricked by the way this will be an untethered jailbreak I'll show you guys how to figure out if you have a new or old boot ROM in just a bit it's actually very easy so just letting you guys know if you have a new boot ROM 3GS which the majority of you will you will have to use a program to tether boot your device and if you guys don't know what tethered means basically if your battery dies or you need to turn off your device you will need a computer with iBooty installed and I'll show you how to do that in order to boot your device up or else it'll be stuck on the Apple logo and I just want to let you know this is a difficult video I know I'll try and keep up with you guys but if you have any kind of trouble read the article down below the link is in the description and you guys will need to download several things for one you will need to download your 5.0 custom restore either new boot ROM or old boot ROM. I'll show you how to figure that out in just a second. You will need to download iReb and iBooty to tether boot your device. And the last thing, iDetector, it's optional. It'll actually help you figure out if your device is a new or old boot ROM. It's Windows only and it's actually very helpful so I would recommend it. If you run it, I'll just run it real quick. All you need to do is place your device into DFU mode, make sure it's in DFU before clicking this button, you'll click it and it'll let you know, as easy as that. If you guys have a Mac, you'll just read the article down below. It's a little bit of a different process, but it works just as well. So all the links for these things can be found down below in the description. You'll just click on the link and it'll take you to a written guide, as well as all of the links for these things. Okay guys, so once you've got all that downloaded, we are ready to begin. Make sure your device is plugged in and you will need iTunes for the following steps now we're gonna open up iReb yes and we're gonna select the 3GS now we're gonna place our device into DFU mode so hold power and home for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 let go of the power button and keep holding the home button or you could follow iReb's instructions I'm just using my own there you go it's exploiting with lime rain and it'll be ready for restore in just a second there we go click OK and close out our iReb now we're gonna open up iTunes click OK Oh my gosh, I'm actually recording in my studio outside right now and as it just so happens a whole biker gang decided to drive by so I'm sorry about the noise but yeah. Okay so once iTunes is open we're gonna go over here and hold shift on our keyboards if you're on a Windows PC option if you're on a Mac and we're gonna find our 3GS 5.0 restore. Click open and your device will begin to restore. So this will take about 10 minutes and if you guys get any kind of errors make sure to read the article down below. If you get 3194 or some other error make sure to read the article. It'll help you out. Okay guys my iPhone has finished restoring and now it's booting up for the first time. I just want to let you know I did have several errors. Error 9 and 12 on my Windows PC. I edited the host file like you do for the 3194 error. That didn't help. So I'm just letting you know if it doesn't work on one computer try it on another. I will have several tips in the article down below for you to try if you have any kind of errors, so make sure to read that. Alright, well here we are on the iOS 5 setup screen. If you guys have an iPhone 3GS with the 6.15.00 baseband, you want to make sure it's on Disable Location Services. If you're not sure, select it anyways. It's just on the setup menu there's a glitch that could mess up your iPhone, so you can re-enable it later, but for now make sure it's disabled. Alright, so after setting up your iPhone, we can go ahead and head over to Cydia, and for the majority majority of you guys it will be white and it will crash upon opening. I don't have that because I have an old boot ROM 3GS. I got lucky so I have the untethered jailbreak. Not everyone's going to get lucky. For the most part everyone's going to have the new boot ROM 3GS. So you will have to restart your device using iBooty on your Windows PC every single time the battery dies or you have to turn it off and it's actually very easy. 
Now I'm going to show you guys how to do that on Windows. To tether boot your device, if you have a new boot ROM device on a Mac, make sure to read the article down below. I'll show you how to do that down there. Okay, so in order to tether boot your device, we're going to have to use iBooty every single time your battery dies or you turn your device off. And when you do run it, make sure it's inside this folder. You don't want to take it out and run it because then it won't be able to find your iPhone 3GS files. But okay, go ahead and right click on it. Run as administrator. Click yes, close out of this, and select your iPhone 3GS. Now since I don't have a tethered 3GS, I'm just going to walk you through this, and we click start. Put your device into DFU mode following these instructions, and in the end your device will reboot with a working Cydia. Okay, so once your device has restarted, you can go ahead and open up Cydia, and you guys are now done. Now for unlockers, there's one more additional step, and that's to go to search. You're going to search for Ultra Snow and click install. You'll reboot your device and you will be unlocked on your iOS 5 3GS with the 6.15.00 baseband. Now for those of you with an iPhone 3GS with baseband's 5.16.05 or earlier who want to unlock on iOS 5, I'm actually going to be posting a video very soon on how to do that, so stay tuned. It's going to show you how to update your baseband to 6.15.00 and unlock on iOS 5. And when that's up, I'm going to post an annotation right there. So be sure to click that if you are on an older baseband. So okay guys, you're now jailbroken and unlocked on iOS 5 on your maybe previously bricked 3GS. So thanks for watching this video guys. I really appreciate it and I'd appreciate it if you rated this video, if you commented and subscribed for more great videos. So enjoy iOS 5 and the jailbreak guys. Peace.